Hey guys, this is chapter 14, lesson two, performing and measuring rotations. The goal here is to perform and describe rotations of shapes about centers not on the shape. So if you can remember in lesson one, I'm gonna use my fish example again. When we talked about the center of rotation, we had it turning about point A. We talked about that. And we also talked about it rotating from point B. It would be a little bit different. Um, the center of rotation would be here and it would turn from point B, okay? So we have two centers of rotations here. So today's lesson is quite similar, a little bit different from um, lesson one, but the rotation of shapes about centers are not on the actual shape. So I'll give you an example. So here is my little flag here that I made. Um, and I'm going to call this point A. So I'm going to ruin the table. Maybe I shouldn't draw on my furniture. Okay, let's pretend that's point A. Okay, I drew it for you. I just don't want to ruin my table. But um, <clears throat> let's say that is the center of rotation. Point A is where my finger is. And I want to turn it 90, rotate it 90 degrees clockwise about point A. So I would take the about point A and I would hold it here and I would go 90 degrees and then my flag would be in that new position. The camera's kind of cutting it off, but it looks like that, okay? And then original position was like that. If I were to move it counterclockwise about point A 90 degrees, it would go the opposite way. Okay, so I'm moving it from that center of rotation, which is down here, which is outside of the shape. So it's quite different from what we did in lesson one, where you're just moving it and rotating it on the shape itself. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense and I hope that it helps you with your work today. Um, we'll talk soon.